So, um, can I give you a lift to the shops? It's not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly, so you can see what it looks like. Okay, this is Power Drift on the 3DS. I'm having a really hard time recording this because I need to be able to reach the shoulder buttons. And doing that whilst keeping it stable and in front of the camera, not easy. So we'll, we'll give it a go, I'll do my best, but I expect this to be poor. Press X, why X? That's a stupid button I have to press. Do my best. Yeah, I'll do my best in my funky pink car. Uh, I'm going to go for any number I can. So, I... That's the wrong button. I don't understand the button choices on this. Um, I love this game. I suck at it. It's not... It's not an easy game. Oh, there we go. I think I've got the 3D turned off, and it's kind of looking a little bit 3D-ish to my eyes, but then my eyes are a bit weird, so who knows? Um, this is on the Sega 3D Classics compilation. Uh, I thought I'd actually covered all of these games previously, and maybe I have and, and deleted it. Maybe I got a copyright hit, don't know. Um, but here we are, if I've done it already, I'm doing it again, because I like it, and doing handheld stuff is kind of easier than setting up a system on, oh god, on the telly. It's kind of like pinball on that section when I'm playing it. Oh, four. I suck. Continue. Yeah, okay. I don't know A button, is it? Okay, then. We'll try again. I can do better. Oh. If I start in the right gear. Oh. Oh, God almighty. Yeah, it is an incredibly... I mean, it's showing its arcade roots well and truly. It, it's, it's a coin muncher. You're meant to do badly. And just keep pumping the coins in so you can see more tracks. But for playing at home, that's not ideal. And that's the only gripe I have about this game. I love the Sega Sprite Scaler games. I think they're fantastic. And... On the 3DS, even better. I think the 3DS versions of these games are the best. Because when you've got the 3D turned on, it feels higher resolution than it is. And it adds that depth. Um, it just, it feels really advanced when it's actually retro. So, go figure. I don't know if this is the most advanced one of the games using the uh, super scalar technology or not um, there are later racing games that are impressive but I think they were not necessarily as playable but actually I kind of question the playability of this oops a bit oh my god I think I kind of have a bit of a love-hate relationship with this game Love the technology, love the visuals. Think it's kind of impossible to play well. <laughs> it, it, it's deliberately over difficult. But it looks so good, it just makes you want to play more. Final lap. Oh, and I'm in seventh. There's no way I'm finishing this. Yeah. Harsh, but continue. Mm, one more go. That's the thing, I'm also not concentrating as well as I should because I'm talking. Excuses, I know. Oops, you bugger. So here I am driving through Chesterfield Town Centre, which is a pretty dodgy thing to do seeing as most of it's pedestrianised, but you know. Oops, bollocks. So, um, can I give you a lift to the shops? The car's the right colour. It doesn't exactly look like Fear Panda, but you know. Oh! 
It is a, a whoever came up with that as a track had been doing some serious drugs. Uh, I suppose the idea is roller coaster, but with cars on and no safety barriers. I mean, my God, and made of logs. Yeah. You Suzuki, you are barking mad. But oh, there we go. That is me failing badly at pow <coughs> power drift on the Nintendo 3DS. It still kind of boggles my brain that there are uh, Sega games on Nintendo hardware. But oh no, no, we'll stop because I'm not getting anywhere. Um, yeah, power drift. Sega 3D Classics Collection, Nintendo 3DS. Love it. Thank you for watching. Hello. Today's question for Q&A is from Down the Rabbit Hole. Link to his channel down there. And he asks, for Q&A, what are your thoughts on numbered review scores for video games? Does knowing a game gets 9 out of 10 make you more in interested in it than if no number score existed? If you see a value in them, I'm just curious why you don't use them in your videos. Okay. There are circumstances where I think a number score has value. But... It... I find them useful if... Um, it's not strictly a review. If I'm looking to buy something say from Amazon or whatever and you've got like one to five stars and if a thousand people have given this product five stars then I can be pretty sure that it's a good product and in that kind of circumstance I think a score is a good thing. Um, when it's one person reviewing a product be it a game or uh, a piece of hardware, whatever, I think a score is absolutely meaningless. Um, I, 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 I want to know about the product. I want to know, is it reliable? Does it work? What aspects are good? If it's a, like a game and the graphics good or bad or whatever, I want to see it being used. I want to know about battery life. I want the details. I want to know is it easy to use? Does it feel comfortable in the hand if it, you know, if it's a handheld or whatever? I want to see a person talking to me and telling me about it, their experience with it. Do they like it or not? And if not, why not? And if they do, why? All those details, I want to know their experience of using or playing the product. Just giving a score, I think is absolutely, it, it's, it's, is rubbish. <laughs> it really is. Um, the only time I think a score is useful is when it is like an aggregated score from lots of people. From one individual person. No. I, I, it's pointless. Um, you know. Let me, let me. Here we go. Skyrim VR. 9 out of 10. No, that's shite. Um, and if you're going to give it at the end, what's the point? The person has already watched the video, knows what you think about it. If they've just skipped to the end uh, because all they want is the score, well, pff, sorry, they don't have my respects. <laughs> no, I, I think scores from an individual, are, it's a rubbish way to do things. <sighs> There are far, far... I mean, I, I accept that some people maybe don't have the gift of the gab and, and maybe aren't entirely comfortable describing what they like about something. Um, and it's not for me to say whether people like that should or shouldn't be making videos, but it's not meaningful. If you can't explain what makes a thing good or not. Um, yeah. I don't mean to disparage anyone who does do scores. 
some people like that kind of thing. Me personally, I think unless it's an aggregate thing. Okay, <laughs> I think I made myself clear there. I don't know if it's a controversial view or not, don't care. Yeah, anyone else who's got any questions they would like answering in a video like this, leave your question in the comments below. And begin your question with 4 Q&A, so I know not to just answer in the comments. And th thank you for watching. So look, just subscribe to this Benway chap and we can all go home. I'll have a glass of claret and...